Okay, we're on problem number four, and it says, you know, the x and y coordinates of two different, uh, of two different points. They give me that, satisfy the one final equation. What's the, um, the difference between a and b? That's the absolute value, by the way, the difference. All right, let's take a look and uh, go back to the whiteboard. And this is problem number four. So, you know, kind of right in stages over here. So one thing I got, I have these points. And the other point is going to be this over here. So the x and y coordinates of those two different points, the x and y coordinates of those uh, two different points satisfy the following equation. Well, let's write this down now. And we'll take one point at a time, by the way. But the equation that satisfies is y squared plus x4 equals 2x squared y plus 1. Let's just do one at a time. All right, And certainly I'm going to do this root pi. I guess I could just plug it in, right? So let's see if we can do that. And the y squared would be a squared. And then the x4 would be, let's see, it would be pi squared. OK, let's keep going. Then you get 2. The x squared would be pi. And then you get a plus 1. All right, looks kind of crazy looking, doesn't it? Anyway, what I'm going to do over here is I, I'm starting to think that maybe factoring it might be helpful. And I'm kind of looking at that. And I think I see something here. I'm going to say a squared uh, minus 2 pi a plus pi squared is equal to 1. And then I could write down, you know, a minus pi quantity squared would equal 1. And then I could use square root rule. I have a minus pi equals plus or minus square root of 1, which is 1. So I could say a is equal to pi plus or minus 1. Now let's do the next one. Uh, by the way, I'm expecting to see something very similar to this one. So I get b squared plus pi squared equals 2 pi b plus 1. Really, I'm, get, I'm expecting the same thing, by the way. And I get minus 2 pi b. Let's see, 2 pi b, right? Plus pi squared is equal to 1. And then it's a perfect square, so it's b minus pi squared equals 1. So b minus pi, whoops, I don't need the parentheses on that. Let me go backwards equals plus or minus 1. So b equals pi plus or minus 1. All right, I got to think about this now. And I want to go back and read the question to you. And the question says, um, the, it says there are two different coordinates. If there are two different coordinates, the a could not equal the b. So let's write this down. So let's write this over here. So it would be root pi. And then if I, I took this a to be pi plus 1, I couldn't take the other one to be the same thing, by the way, because they're different coordinates. It would have to be pi minus 1. That's a possibility. The other possibility is root pi, and that would be pi minus 1. And if they're two different coordinates, this is root pi. This would be root pi. I'm sorry, pi plus 1. That would be different. Now, what's our question? And again, th th this is the A, and this is the B, all right? They want to know the difference between the two. So if you look at the difference between these two over here, uh, regardless of the direction you're going in, you know, B minus A or A minus B, the difference between those is just two. What's the difference between these two over here? It's still just two. They differ by two. So what's the answer over here? They differ by two. So the absolute value of A minus B is going to be two. That's what they asked for. That's what you give them. And we're done. Thank you.